Hey guys, hope you're all doing really, really great. So today's reading is for Divine Soulmates where the masculine is involved in a karmic situation. Of course, as always, it could also be that the feminine is involved in a karmic situation, <clears throat> but I will be doing it as if it is the masculine, but you can take the messages to apply for your own self, okay? If that feels right for you. And as always, it is going to be general, which means it's not going to be everybody's situation. That's okay. If you want, you can book a personal reading with me. All of that information is in the description box. And I think that is it. So yeah, let's let's get into it. We're going to take a look at the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation or a karmic partner. And then we're going to look at their energy towards you as well as a bit of the feminine's energy. So let's see what is going on with the masculines currently. All right, we have Angel of Love, and I feel like we need to get one more. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to take the one that flipped over, and it is Woman Holding a Heart. Okay, so very interesting that we got two very love-based cards, all right? Angel of Love and Woman Holding a Heart. So this is telling me that the masculine is very much focused on love right now. I feel like they're very focused on their divine feminine, as well as just love in general. Like, where is it that... What is it that makes them feel love? Where is it that their love resides? All right, so really thinking about love, feeling a lot of emotions, all right, because it's the woman holding a heart and it's not the man holding a heart. So that's telling me that this is a lot of um, like emotional intelligence coming through, like really being able to feel their emotions very deeply. So let's see what else. And what I'm also getting here actually is that the masculine is really receptive at the moment to the unconditional love from their divine feminine, like really understanding which feminine energy it is that is providing this unconditional love for them, regardless of whether it is in the physical or on an energetic level. All right, so we also have surrender, solitude, and refocus. Okay, so they're surrendering to this, plain and simple, right? really really coming to terms with it very much understanding it not being in denial or in resistance of it and for that reason i feel like they are actually spending some time alone so if they are in a karmic relationship they are keeping to themselves at the moment and it's because they are surrendering to this unconditional love that they have with their divine feminine all right and that's why also we have the refocus card because they are refocusing away from the situation that they are already in and focusing more on what it is that gives them this fulfillment when it comes to love so <clears throat> very very positive starting off this reading Okay, so let's get into the tarot and get more specific. So the masculine's energy towards the karmic partner or situation. Let's see. look at this so we have the very first card out was justice upright okay so this is all about karma resolving karmic balance um, it could even represent <clears throat> divorce in certain cases or <clears throat> any kind of a legal matter but it's resolving it's coming into some kind of of a balance then we have the three of cups in reverse and then the page of wands okay so whatever this justice is it is not revolving, it is not involving a reconciliation with the Three of Cups being in reverse. So there, this is their energy towards their karmic partner. And even with the Page of Wands, this is like that refocusing, right? Like looking off into the distance, ready for a new, a new path, a new adventure. It's even coming in as um, this masculine is almost... I even want to say there's a little bit of an excitement. It's not like a very positive excitement, but it's like this, um, like just feeling really positive, 
about this karmic resolution. Feeling positive about there not being some kind of a reconciliation here. All right, so let's get one more row. the Knight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Okay, so I am going to clarify some of these. Again, with the Six of Pentacles, there's this essence of balance that is coming in. So, and even with the Knight of Cups, I feel like this is the masculine, even though they might be um, a little bit in solitude, like keeping their distance, being a little bit away, but they're they're not lashing out at the karmic partner at the moment, okay, if it's a partner. There's this um, feeling of, like, there's still love here. I mean, it's not like the King of Cups type of love, but there is this sweetness, almost like really being able to address, address this situation, even though there's no reconciliation, with some kind of compassion. And that is actually what is helping to bring in this balance. And it's like, there's a lot of determinism behind that. So I don't know what group of masculines this is. I hope this is resonating um, for a lot of you because this is actually like, I feel like it's the most positive reading we've had in a while. So let's clarify. Let's clarify that top row. All right, we have the Four of Swords. And the Lovers. So like I said, they are in this energy of really making a discernment when it comes to love. There's a lot of love here, just overall in their energy. This is not directed towards their karmic partner. There's... <clears throat> Obviously, with the Four of Swords here, again, this is kind of like this pause, right? Like this, it's reminding me of the solitude, a healing energy. So what I'm getting for this group here is that there's this balance that is taking place. Karma is resolving because this masculine is healing. And they're healing. And not only that, there's like major decisions here because we have justice, which is about making decisions. And then we have the lovers, which is also about making a decision, especially concerning love. Oftentimes, choosing between two different situations. So I feel like it's, it's like the verdict is already made here. And that's why we have the Four of Swords, because it's like it's been put to rest. It's been put to rest. There has been a decision that has been made, which that decision is, there is no reconciling with the karmic partner or with the karmic situation. And so that's what this excitement that I was talking about before, which isn't exactly excitement because this is definitely going to be really, really difficult for them. Um, <clears throat> but there's this like curiosity or like enthusiasm or drive about now being able to move towards love, about finally making this decision. Let's see the bottom row. Okay, first card out is Ace of Cups in Reverse. So to me, this is um, confirming what I said, okay? Because some of you might see this Knight of Cups and be like, well, isn't that the masculine? <laughs> Offering love to, to this person. And no, it's not. It's not because it's clear from the <clears throat> top row anyway. And confirming now, we have the Ace of Cups in Reverse. All right, so this is saying, yes, <clears throat> this type of love is not there. The romantic type of love. This is just all about <clears throat> the masculine's behavior towards the karmic where it is like in a loving balance. Ooh, okay, we just got <clears throat> three of them. All right, we have... 
the Five of Cups, the Queen of Swords in reverse, and the Two of Swords. So this is what they're bringing into balance, right? So there has been a lot of either sadness, grief, guilt. Those kinds of feelings have been present. But And this was something that the masculines could not figure out. This is what had been their, the major obstacle, okay, for this particular group or one of the major obstacles for them. So what I'm seeing here is that this is what they are now able to bring into balance within themselves first, and then they're able to actually give to the karmic partner what it is that they actually need. And when I say what they actually need, I, I mean <clears throat> what the connection needs in order for there to be this balance, in order for this decision to actually be um, completed successfully and in a way that is healed and that is coming also from a place of love and not just hostility, anger, frustration, or things like that. I do feel like parts of these um, elements are still present. Okay, it's not like it's a hundred percent revolved, but it is coming. It is coming into balance. Let me get one more here. We have the chariot in reverse. All right, right here with the king of swords. Yeah, they're determined, you know what, they're determined to not lose control here. I feel like this masculine is really determined either to not go back or to not allow themselves to lose control now that they have found this balance. There's also this determinism for this connection. Again, it's like similar to what I was seeing before with the Three of Cups in reverse, um, to not move this forward like it just can't and I feel like they're seeing this both from an emotional place right from love but also from a very rational perspective so they're using a lot of willpower here in order to keep moving forward with this decision that has been made Like, really, I feel like I haven't seen a reading like this in a very long time. <laughs> All right, so let's see the masculine's energy towards their feminine. All right, interesting. So we have the Four of Cups in reverse, the Chariot, and then we have the Six of Pentacles, which landed upright and then flipped in reverse. Okay, so this masculine is feeling a lot of disappointment concerning their feminine, but interesting that we do have the chariot upright. So they are moving towards you. There's this drive, at least. There's this um, urge to really move towards you. But I feel like the Six of Pentacles, the reason why it like landed upright and then it like flipped over is because they really um, don't know exactly how, how to come forward to you just yet. I feel like they feel like the timing just isn't right, even though they have this urge. Maybe even some, they're feeling like this urgency, they're feeling this impatience, and I do feel like that came up in a previous reading as well, to move towards their feminine, and that's because they're really feeling this love so strongly now. Um, but something's off here, so I will, I will clarify that. For some of them, it feels like they're not sure if they've missed the opportunity with you. And for others of them, maybe even for the same group. Yeah, it could be both. Feeling like there's, they still haven't fully balanced the situation here with their karmic situation. 
Because remember how I was saying, even though they have the Six of Pentacles up right here, um, when I clarified, remember how I said it's still not 100%. So I feel like that's one of the reasons why they might be holding back. But they're also feeling a disappointment, possibly that they haven't done this sooner. Let's see what else. I love how we're getting like such similar cards on both sides, but <clears throat> but differently. Because we just got the Ace of Cups upright, which we had it in reverse for their energy towards the um <clears throat> the karma. Who okay, Ace of Cups, Six of Swords, and Ace of Wands. Wow, who is this group? Do let me know if this is resonating with you. Um I mean, yeah, <laughs> look at this. It's coming in again that this masculine is feeling this sense of urgency or wanting to move towards you, wanting this new beginning in love, in passion, wanting a reconciliation, a reigniting of, of this connection, feeling a lot of passion, feeling a lot of love, feeling it both emotionally as well as spiritually, wanting to leave conflict in the past and wanting to move forward. So that's what they're wanting to do. But again, I, I will check because we have that Six of Pentacles in reverse there. So let's, let's clarify. Okay, that's too many. dumping out like crazy okay we have the devil in reverse so it's actually positive that it's in reverse um but i feel like just the fact that it's showing up here there is some there is some fear there is some fear when it comes to them approaching the feminine they are resolving it but, but they're still in that process, like it hasn't been resolved completely. And I feel like this devil actually, it's, um, <clears throat> it's also representing the connection that they have with their karmic. <clears throat> and I'm sorry about my throat. It was fine all day. I even did a personal, it was fine. <laughs> it's just when I do the collective, that it, it decides to act up. Um, yeah, so this is still that whatever attachment is left over concerning their their karmic partner, but that is resolving. That's why we have the the devil in reverse. All right, now, because of that, because it's, it's in their energy towards you, it's because of that, and because of that has been taking so long that they have this fear that they may have missed <clears throat> this opportunity with you and not sure if it's too late. So that's why they're feeling this sense of urgency, but they know that they have to pace themselves. And that's why we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, because they're holding back from actually giving to you at this time. And then we have the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> so that's actually stressing them out. It's actually creating anxiety for them um, because they know that <laughs> they want to come forward, but but they feel like they have to pace themselves. They have to hold back. And actually, like, this is a good thing. And I know it might not feel that way um, for some of you. Um, but what I'm feeling, especially for this group, but this could apply to <clears throat> just overall in general, it's like the masculine really needs to clear out their karmic situation as much as possible before coming forward to their feminine. Otherwise, if it's not 100% complete, it's, it's going to carry over some of these devil energies that you would not want to be in your relationship. And the masculine is actually aware of this. And so that this is why they're holding back. All right, let's see this bottom row. Okay, we have, what's the Page of Pentacles first? So the Page of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Wands and the King of Pentacles. <laughs> 
talk about this urgency, right? It, it just keeps showing up. I mean, we have three cards, and it's not like we have that many here. Um, suggesting this movement, this rush, this movement towards you could even represent travel. Like these are the three cards of travel. So there's there's this huge urgency for the masculine to actually come visit you, like to just come ring your doorbell. And I feel like they're actually like fluctuating between doing that, being able to offer you um, this commitment, stability, and then holding back from taking that step. So that's what's happening here. They want this new beginning here. They're like really wanting to move towards you, to come to you, give you this, this love, this passion, and in a very stable way, actually. It's like they're wanting this commitment. But again, it's coming in with this page of pentacles is holding back from actually taking that step, even though the urgency or the urge of that, of doing so, is there. Even with the King of Pentacles, even though he's upright, I still get that, okay, you know, the Muslims trying to ground themselves rather than allowing themselves to just get over, overly um, excited here. And again, you know, and there's also that fear. That's there as well. All right, so let's take a quick look at what is happening for the feminines in this group and then... Yeah, we might just get a couple cards just to see what is coming up. <clears throat> so for the feminines in this group. Oh, we have Journey. I'm not surprised. I feel like this is, um, for this group, this feminine has pretty much detached. I feel like this, this is a feminine who has said goodbye. Um, to the masculine and it's because of this detachment or partially because of this detachment that things are moving along the way that they are. Let's see what else. All right, we have awakening, karmic partner and compromise. Okay, so this feminine, if this is resonating with you, it's like you have awakened. Um, okay, in general, you're awakening, right? In general, you are ascending. All feminines are. You are all on this path. But more specifically for this particular feminine, at this particular point in time, it's like there's this deeper understanding about the karmic situation and about the karmic partner, but mostly about what it is that needs to happen here. And so I feel like this feminine has actually made some compromises. Like you've compromised what it is that you would want and you've taken a step back. A big one though. You may have done this before in the past, but this time it's different because this time it's like, it's not only just a physical separation, from your masculine, but it's it's like an energetic separation as well. Like you like literally said goodbye, not just physically, but on an energetic level. So it's it's interesting that I'm tapping into this group because I feel like a lot of feminines who are in this group, you know, might not even be watching these readings. Um, but you definitely could be. You definitely still could be. Um, so yeah, I feel like, you know, if you're, I, I feel like when the feminine is in this type of a state of mind, it's like you might even be feeling like, like you're, you're hoping that your masculine isn't thinking about you so that they can actually focus on what it is that they need to do in their situation like it's at that point it's at that level like that's how much detachment there's there now I'm not saying that you might not 
be kind of hoping that they're thinking about you here and there or you know like at all but it's like once you've awakened to this level about the karmic situation it's like you realize that yeah it's actually better that the masculine is focused on completing that successfully so that there is no residue rather than obsessing over you and if this sounds new to you, so if you're, you're feeling like you haven't been in this kind of a state, that's completely okay. Maybe that's why you're watching this reading because hearing that might actually help you to get to that, okay? And again, just take what feels right for you. If these messages don't resonate with you, if you don't agree, that's completely okay. Not every message is for everybody, all right? But these are the messages that, I, that are coming through for this particular reading. Okay, so let's see what might be coming up in the masculine's energy for its old karmic partner. We have the Nine of Cups may or may not have been in reverse. I just want like two. And we have the Ten of Wands. Okay. I feel like the masculine is pretty much just going after what it is that they want. They, it's, it's, it's in reverse because what they truly want is in the back of their minds. And because of that, right, and I say it's in the back of their minds, it's the feminine. But it's in the back of their minds because they're focusing on what is happening here in the karmic situation. And they're ready to release that burden with the ten of wands being in reverse. Not carrying it anymore. So they're releasing responsibility like more and more and more in order to go after that nine of cups after that wish fulfillment that they have because they know it's not here and they want to release whatever it is that is not their wish fulfillment and that is the karmic situation or partner so let's see what is coming up from the masculines towards their feminines in the near future near future could be like a couple of weeks Very interesting, we have the Empress in reverse and the Queen of Cups. I feel like the masculines are still coming up, they're feeling like they don't deserve you yet. The emotions are there, the love is there. Um, so I, again, I just don't feel like they're taking that, they're not acting on that urge just yet, but they're opening up more and more when it comes to love. And they're also tapping more and more into their intuition. I feel like with the Sempers being in reverse, this is them just not really feeling that sense of self-worth and confidence to come forward just yet. And that is okay, because if you are in this group, <laughs> you know, you're, you're totally okay with that. You're totally okay with that because you also know that things are moving in the way that they need to and you're like off doing your own thing anyway with that journey card. Alright, so let's get a final oracle card to close out this reading. was too many I'm just going to take the one that fell and we have why and I actually want to get one more and TikTok I'm not surprised <laughs> I'm not surprised because they're feeling this um this urgency it's there so it's like they're feeling this rush and I feel like what this is saying though is you know, um, things are happening in divine timing. And we have the why card because this is to say that everything is happening for a reason. And that actually, we don't even need to ask why. That's the message I'm getting with this very strongly. We don't even need to ask why. Things are the way they are because that is how they are supposed to be at the moment. Everything is exactly where it needs to be, okay? And it really is just a matter of time. So yeah, that is 
it. Um, I really do hope that this resonated for at least um, some of you. Definitely let me know if it did. And if it didn't, that's okay. Like I said, it can't resonate every time. Um, maybe the next one will be for a completely different group of you. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and much love.